What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and I am back again to do some more reactions today anime wise. I'm going to drop some Game of Thrones content later on tonight. Um those are I don't know exactly what they're going to be yet, but keep in the spirit of anime day today. I just said let me knock out um, a couple of these anime videos that were sent to me um, let's jump into it so this first one that we have here is titled what is the appeal of anime um, I will tell you guys my opinion later after watching this video of course so let's just jump into it man see what this is all about um, somebody explaining it um, let me see what's the name of the channel the name of the channel is Digibro. So if you guys want to go check out Digibro, D-I-G-I-B-R-O, I will leave a link in the description to the channel, of course. So shout out to them even before. This video was made in 2016, so it's been a while. So what is the appeal of, of anime? Let's jump into it, man. See what this is all about. I still got my Evangelion background here. Let me take that off. Um, if you did not know, I react to evangelion so <laughs> there you go you know what as a matter of fact that looks cool full screen it's just that they're probably going to be showing pictures and stuff so i didn't want my big ass head in the way <laughs> so let's jump into it man oh my god were I to try and explain in as few words as possible what is the appeal of art, I would state simply that art communicates. Storytelling, for instance, is a means by which emotions, thoughts, and imaginations are packaged into narratives and moved from one mind into another. Illustrative art and photography can tell stories or can simply relay an understanding of aesthetic sensibilities. Illustrations in sequence can be combined with words and strung into long-form narratives containing a continual progression of ideas. Music can evoke feelings with an immediacy that words are often not capable of. And film allows us to edit and compile the elements of many other art forms into an amazingly specific presentation of ideas. Animation, then, is a style of film which allows us to take that specificity to an even greater extreme, because it is not limited to capturing images which exist in reality. Whereas the greatest power of photography over illustrative art is that it is less abstract and more intimate with our understanding of reality, the power of illustration is that it can reach deep into our psychological interpretations of reality and allow us to communicate ideas which we understand beyond what is represented in the world around us. In theory, then, the appeal of animation isn't that different from the appeal of live-action film, and the lines between the two keep getting blurrier as technology allows us to combine them into one package. And if you were looking at, say, the works of Hayao Miyazaki or Satoshi Kon, then you could pretty easily say that the appeal of anime film is the same as the appeal of any animated film. But it's probably for this exact reason that many anime fans consider these films to be relatively unhelpful in explaining the appeal of anime because the appeal of anime really isn't the same as the appeal of other films. And the reason for that is entirely cultural. You see, ideally, a film could be anything. A film could be four seconds long and shot on a cell phone, or a film could be a 90-hour epic created over the course of 20 years that tells the entire story of the universe. But in practice, that's not what film is. Film is an old enough and respected enough medium that it does enjoy some flexibility in terms of length and narrative style, but you don't get a lot of high budget films that aren't in the range of 80 minutes to two and a half hours long. You don't get a lot of short films that have the personnel and means behind them to present their story with expensive visuals and all-star voice acting. And that's because in every culture on our planet that produces art, that art is reliant on money. If we lived in a post-scarcity world like Star Trek where all of our needs were met and every individual could basically do whatever they want, then the scale of your art would really only be limited to how long your life is and how many people you can get on board with creating it. But since we live in a world wherein everyone has to make money in order to survive, unless they become the beneficiary of someone who can take care of them, then art is heavily influenced not only by the imaginations of the artist, but by their ability to create something consumable for the paying audience. In the long century of film's evolution, the medium has become closely tailored to the monetary 
needs of its production. You can't make a high budget movie if it's not going to recoup that budget, and therefore you have to make something which is going to appeal to a high number of people. Art is limited by the culture surrounding it. This brings us to the one medium of long form filmmaking which does exist in mainstream culture, the TV show, which nowadays is hardly ever on TV anymore, so we might as well start calling them film series or something. Even more so than regular films, TV series have been very strictly regimented to reflect the most populous, easily consumable, and broadly appealing types of storytelling possible. Episodes are almost always the same couple of lengths, no matter what kind of show it is, genre conventions are usually followed to the letter, and the budgetary limitations of a series are directly proportional to what size and type of audience the work will have. Evolution within the medium occurs very slowly reflecting massive shifts in the cultural landscape of the world around them, and risks taken are very small and dealt with very gradually. This finally brings us to the subject of animation, and to the massive cultural divide which has made Japanese animation so appealing to a growing worldwide audience. You see, like any other kind of TV show, animation in the West has been very strictly regimented to fit a certain kind of audience. Even now, as Western animation has been experiencing a sort of golden age, with more and more shows embracing continuous narratives, broad demographic appeal and more diverse subject matter, Western animated TV shows still inescapably fall into the genres of episodic comedy and action. While we do have shows now like Adventure Time and Rick and Morty and Moral Oral which are able to present a more complex range of emotions and dive into more diverse themes, these shows are still by and large episodic comedies. Even though Avatar The Last Airbender and Gravity Falls and Steven Universe have been involving more complex ongoing narratives across their episodes, they still operate under the umbrella of of an episodic comedy series that can be easily picked up and enjoyed by new viewers along their run. Western animation is slowly becoming more diverse and that is something to be celebrated, but when you take a look at the animation which has been coming out of Japan for the last 40 years and compare it to the progress which we've made so far, it's easy to understand the specific appeal of anime. If you want the perfect example of what anime is capable of that simply has not happened in western filmmaking of any kind, you need look no further than the most world-renowned Japanese television series of all time, Dragon Ball. Between the original series and its even more popular sequel, Dragon Ball Z, there are 444 22-minute episodes of the series in total, bringing it to over 160 hours of film which all contain one single continuous narrative. Dragon Ball Z is often made fun of for the length of its major battles, and... Okay, now we know that's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. This story is not continuous. This guy is definitely, definitely wrong on that part. I agree with everything else he said, but... Dragon Ball being a continuous story for every single episode that came out? No. Okay, the only thing that is canon is Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and freaking Dragon Ball Super. That's it. And the Dragon Ball um freaking Broly movie. That's it. <laughs> Everything else is side is to the side. Everything else is to the side. Um Everything else is to the side. We have um Super Saiyan 4 is not canon. Um, they just made Gogeta canon with the Super, um, with this, um, with the Broly movie. Yeah, it's pretty much everything else is just like side, bunch of side stories. That is not, you know, characters being introduced that are not in the canon story, which we, we you know, we should know by now. So it's Dragon, it's, it's basically Dragon Ball Z. We have, um, um, that other movie, um, Battle of yeah battle of the gods or is it, is it is it battle of gods battle of gods battle of the gods whatever the one where where goku um fought against beerus that movie was canon also um and also we have the other movie resurrection um f resurrection f was canon too so it's just I disagree with him on that point that it has been one continuous story. Um, now, if he's saying, I don't know exactly how many episodes they are, so I don't want to, I don't want to sit here and be like, I know they are 
I'm pretty sure if he's talking about the 400 and something, if those 400 and some episodes are just Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Super, then he's talking the truth. Then he's saying the truth. But, you know, you have to take into consideration when you're saying, when you're saying stuff like that, you have to explain it because then people are going to think, oh, so, um, so freaking, I can't even remember the shit because it was so, it was so freaking long ago, the series where they're fighting all the dragons from, that were coming out of the Dragon Balls and shit. Like, it was the worst thing ever. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I didn't like that series. It was cool to see. Don't get me wrong. Um, they fought some really strong enemies in that series but when i found out it wasn't canon it was a huge disappointment for me let's jump back into it that is totally fair the pacing of the series could be a hell of a lot tighter and there have been other long-form anime action series which managed to tell the same kinds of stories with better overall presentation but the quality of the show's construction notwithstanding the fact that dragon ball z is capable of dedicating entire seasons worth of episodes to individual protracted battles is precisely the point of its appeal what dragon ball z has that no other film series in the world has managed to match outside of its own culture Culture is an absolutely incredible sense of scale. And that's not the only kind of storytelling which is unique to Japanese animation. Nowhere else in the world will you find over 50 episodes of meditative, low-key, some might even say boring, episodic adventures through a beautifully drawn rural countryside where nothing all that exciting usually happens. Nowhere else will there be the same number of episodes dedicated to young girls sailing around a Martian Venetia, quietly learning about life and coming of age without any kind of action. Nowhere else will 12 episodes of College Ennui be unloaded in a visually esoteric blend of metaphors, high-speed dialogue, and creative use of repetition. Nowhere else will a high school full of hot girls beating the shit out of each other be used <laughs> as a metaphor for the history of cultural imperialism. And those are just the things that you can get without even What's really trying. What's the name trying. of that anime? Once you've explored so deep into the medium that you can appreciate its own limitations and how it comments on, subverts, and plays with those limitations, you'll find yourself lost entirely in a grand meta narrative the likes of which you could never imagine lurking under the surface of those wacky kung fu cartoons from that faraway island country. The appeal of anime is simply that anime has a lot more going on with it than any other kind of film. Anime has its limits, and those limits may eventually become intolerable to those who want the medium to do specific things that it doesn't do enough of, but the fact that I can't think of a single anime story which has an accurate stylistic parallel to any western animation besides the ones which are directly taking influence from it speaks volumes to the level of creativity which the medium has achieved. The reason that anime is quickly growing in popularity throughout the world is because anime has given us something that we never would have known we wanted. Whereas TV series have typically been so carefully tailored to fit the needs of the broadest possible audience, anime has provided us with a huge variety of very specific art pieces, which are able to communicate with us in ways that we didn't previously know were possible. Anime represents what I believe to be the rapidly emerging future of film, a far more decentralized approach to the form and function of the medium, which is able to appeal to smaller more specific groups of people. While the marketing techniques of anime have still yet to adapt well to the modern internet age, I think that Japanese animation is predictive of how art is transforming in the current technological era. And for me personally, that's exactly what makes it so fascinating. Thanks again for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, then please share it to anyone that you think will appreciate it. And if you want to help me to make more of these videos, then consider supporting Okay, so that was dope. That was dope. So... Let me give you guys my opinion um, about this stuff. When it comes on, when it comes on to anime, and I talk about this a lot on my channel during my reactions and stuff like that. I talk about these things a lot because it's an art form that I enjoy very much, and it means a lot to me. And you know, in a minute, I'm gonna be reacting to a video, extreme, you know, that somebody sent to me. They said it's really funny, so. I'm, I'm going to be watching that video. I saw the title of the video. It's actually something I just recently talked about too, which is when it comes on to, to, to anime, a lot of people take for granted that it's not, um, it's not a kid's thing. You get what I'm saying? And the art form is very, you know, in, in, in the first part of this video, we talked about money 
and one of the things um if you guys if you guys have been on this channel for a while you saw my April reactions and you saw how emotional I got when it ended because I understand from the perspective also from all the life lessons that I learned from that anime and I won't be able to watch it again I'm gonna have to start reading it which is something that I'm working on right now but I got emotional because um, other than just the life lessons I'm thinking about you know what they have to go through to get these things on air it's not as easy as you you know you might think you know what I'm saying like when it comes on to how they the time the production time that they spend and the budget that they have they don't have those people don't make a lot of money and people think that you know all these people are millionaires like how creating films in America is it's not the same these people they blood sweat and they do this shit because they love it and they're not doing it for money and the thing about it is that because money becomes a factor right because money becomes a factor that's the reason why a lot of times you don't get to finish up series like you know example big example is bleach it's not because bleach you know nobody wanted to watch bleach anymore they took it off they took it off it's not because the numbers were low and they um bleach was still one of the biggest animes back when when they when they discontinued the anime it was one of the biggest out there still was a big three along with one piece and naruto at the time so um and we're still hoping that they will finish the final arc off Bleach, right? So it's when I say when I say this, um, one of the things that I talked about, you know, at the end of Ippo, when I talked about it and I said, if I had the money, I would definitely send it to. Her. And that's one of the things that we should actually do for the anime community over there is actually when it comes out to stuff like that. Um, to get that stuff. I don't know if anybody has ever um, started like a GoFundMe or like a um, a Kickstarter or something like that to fund these things. When you see them go off a of ear, I'm pretty sure that if um, I'm pretty sure maybe if I looked it up, maybe somebody has done it before and maybe they didn't get enough money. You get what I'm saying? To send to a specific studio that would allow them to make this into an anime because we do need to see the final arc i think they would do a very good job with with the final arc even though it wasn't the most glorious finish that we've ever seen in 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 a manga series but i would still like to see the end of bleach being animated it's actually as i'm talking right now it's actually a pretty good idea i'm gonna research and see if anybody has ever started like a gofundme or a Kickstarter account for these people so we can actually send to a studio, preferably Madhouse, because I love Madhouse stuff, but there's other studios too. I mean, we could raise some money and and send it and give them a, um, a budget um, or something like that because I'm, I'm off a business mind. You know, if we got to talk to some specific people to get something like this done for the fans, then I'm pretty sure that as long as the people get paid and stuff like that shit i'll fly over there i'll fly over there to talk to talk to people bring a translator with me if if possible just to get something like that done i'm that type of person where even if i'm not going to make a dollar on the on the far end i would do something like that you get what i'm saying as i said when i was talking i was talking about putting up my own money right so it's what what I'm saying to you guys is basically that when it comes on to anime, there's a huge appeal and I'm glad that it's growing and it's more way more popular than maybe 10 years ago in, in, in the West. So um, anime is, has been has meant a lot to me. So videos like this, I totally I understand. Um, I totally get I, 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 I run with it. Um, it was this, the one point that he made that I didn't agree with, but it could. It's it's all about context. It's all about context and how he said it. Um, it could have been. It could be because I don't know exactly the amount of episodes that are in Dragon Ball, um, between Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Super, um, along with the movies. I don't know. So he could just be talking about those three canon series in Dragon Ball, um, plus um, plus the movies. 
or he could be talking about the entire thing, right? Including the series where they went Super Saiyan 4 and stuff. Um, I, I cannot remember for the life of me because it's been forever since I checked up on that series because nobody really cares about it because it's not, it's not really canon. People know, okay, Super Saiyan 4 was at one point in one of the series or a side story of Dragon Ball because that's what they... It's not canon, right? Because when Dragon Ball Super came... When Dragon Ball Super came, they just picked up from freaking, I think it was Res um, Resurrection F movie. So, that was crazy, right? To know that that wasn't canon. And I was really upset when I found out because it wasn't my favorite. But it w when I, I was watching it, when somebody told me, hey, that's not even canon, bro. So, it's just some side story or whatever. So, I, will, I was really upset about that. Um, So... It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. This video was really nice. I enjoyed it. Um, what he's trying to explain that anime brings a certain aspect that a lot of us don't, you know, consider or expect. And now that it's becoming more popular, people are kind of appreciating it more. And 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 it's the truth. Um, um, the Western style of animation seems like it's not going anywhere. And now they're trying to embrace anime. You know what I'm saying? Like how Netflix is picking up series you have that they did the um the avatar series um which i never watched you know the last airbender whatever i actually i saw the movie the movie was trash okay so i had no interest in in watching the actual cartoon but i know you guys are probably gonna say hey man it's really good whatever whatever um but i'll probably never get around to watching that so you have you have the western cartoons you know i haven't watched rick and morty either um so there's a lot of series out there but they do not go in depth and that's what i'm saying like they'll make a good animated movie here and there but they they don't the storytelling is not there when it comes on to to western stuff animation so it's always more episodic comedies and it's the truth it's the truth he's talking the truth the absolute truth so i really enjoy this video man if you like my views my reaction to this just leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this video, what are your thoughts on anime overall, um, and one of the biggest things is, 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 is just that, if I had the money, if I had the money, that's, that's all I can say, if I had the money, you know what I mean, so, just so many series that never got completed, like, I just finished watching Ippo, I would continue that, even though I know it's still continuing in the, in the manga, Bleach has ended, the manga has ended, I would definitely bring back Bleach for that last art, man. It, it, it's just beastly, man. Who doesn't want to see, who doesn't want to see Aizen in, in top form, Ichigo in top form? Who doesn't want to see Kenpachi's Bankai? Come on, man. We want to see that in anime form, bro. We want to see that in anime form because even we all know that manga readers, we always want to see certain fights, certain things in animated form. We just want to see it. And we just never got that satisfaction with um, with freaking Bleach. So there's so many. I'm pretty sure there's more out there that I haven't watched that wasn't completed and man manga is probably still going on and stuff like that. So um, I'm, I'm happy to... To react to something like this but i'm also like a little bit sad when i think about certain things so thank you guys for watching as always man leave a comment let me know what you think it's your boy terabyte reacts and peace